All right. Here is our piece. We have the blade secured in there. We have the block now that we're doing. And uh, so now we're going to shape the handle. And I had a little glue on there and I took a, some sandpaper and sanded that down. And on this side as well, get that kind of off the, so it won't dull my knife so much. And uh, so, what we're going to start doing now is, what we're going to do at first is, this is, of course, these are both half inch pieces. So, we'll work toward the center. But what we want to do is just sort of come to the edges over here and just start kind of working our, our, uh, our knife down a little bit. On, on the sides of the because it's going to have to be brought down quite a bit as we can see and we come back here and do the same thing start working on bringing the it down now let me let me go get a pencil and uh now remember that you want to make this knife for yourself so um I don't know exactly how you want to do this knife for yourself. Uh, you can do it several ways. Uh, you can just have it basically coming around just like that, in other words. You can have a uh, little thumb grips in there and stuff. It's just, uh, it's up to whatever you want to, in other words. Just like I told you about the length of the knife, in other words. If you have bigger hands, and then naturally you would uh, want it to probably be bigger. But right here, right now, what we're doing is we're just basically getting it, it uh, rounded off. Just kind of go around the piece, because especially up in this area in here, it's way, way too big. It's got to come down a whole lot. Of course, to do that, well, we. And like I said, I'm just going to kind of carve the basic uh, shape that a knife would be as you handle it. And when you get up in this area, uh, be kind of careful when your knife goes across, you don't scrape on. So that's why I kind of turned my knife around and... and did this
And of course we have to bring the, the sides down as well because of the I'm going to I hate to remove my glove my glove is slipping on this today my glove is slipping I don't know why it's slipping on the on the uh, wood I wonder if I got a little oil or something on that glove and that's why I'm slipping I just wasn't getting a good grip on there we go I wasn't getting a good grip on my knife I mean on my uh, wood here I see as we began to bring it down such a way now uh, when it comes to the end there I always like to kind of bring a little a little uh, thing to the end here Come around through here Okay, so like that, of course, we'll have to come down some more. I always like to kind of bring uh, this end down and then I like to bring a little notch just right in here sort of cut a little notch in there sort of like this sort of So like that. Watching the end here, give this a little design. Okay, just so like that. Of course, we're gonna bring all this down. If you want it, 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 like I said, it depends on your hands. It depends if you have very, very large hands. Uh, you will want the knife probably to be a lot thicker perhaps and uh, but it depends on like I said it depends on your who you're carving for and uh, you know are you carving to uh, you're carving to We're slowly getting there. Now, like I said, if you have a bigger hand, then this would not probably perhaps be too thick for you or whatever if you like the knife thicker. And most of the time when we're carving, you know, we don't want the knife too thick because then it, it, it becomes a problem for us. So we want to bring the knife down I 
or as we say, not too bulky. As we say. Okay, we're just going around, thinning it up the way we want it. Okay, now let's look at our knife for here now here for a minute. Okay, we have a, uh, it's still, we're getting down to the thinness, which is good. Still, it's a, for my hands, it's a little bit, little bit wide. We want to bring that down some. Usually I do that from the bottom here. And of course, this has got to be brought down. We want this to come down pretty low. Okay. Now we're going to kind of start kind of dragging our knife a little bit and kind of smoothing it out a little bit because we're getting down to the, the, the time or the, the place 
just like in the back here which is looking good now see so we're gonna we're not gonna try to just take as much we're gonna drag our knife and as we do that as we do that we we, we not just take a little bit off at a time but we also help with the smoothing it out a little bit in other words see making it a lot but smoother because we're going to do some sanding on it and everything like that in other words where it kind of evens it out and stuff we're kind of doing that little number see when you take your knife and sort of just kind of drag it a little bit it smooths things out a little bit Oh, yeah, look at that, see? Starting to look like a knife now that we can kind of handle and... And like I said, it, it, it depends on what you like in your hand, in other words. It depends on, on what feels good in your hand. And I'm going to tell you something, that is very, very important to a carver what feels good in their hand because you're gonna you're spending a lot of time with your knife now in this if you look at this knife here uh, this is Charles Simpson he basically makes it round and then just sort of comes up uh, uh, whereas I turned it around and just sort of came down a little bit with it but this knife feels good in my hand and that's why I don't mind carving with it. I have I have had knives that do not feel good in my hand, and I, you know, I mean, uh, I thought I thought from the picture they were going to be what I wanted. Not the not the fact that they weren't didn't weren't good carving knives. I mean, not I know a lot of times understand something. A knife a car a not a carving knife can be a very good knife with very good makers. But if it does not fit right in your hand, if it does not fit the way you want it to fit, then you're not going to like it. That's all there is to it. I, I like Charles Simpson knives because of the way they feel in my hand. I like the way they feel. All right, I'm going to... Um, I'm taking a little while I'm gonna end this video now and we're gonna start over again but uh, we'll come back and finish this knife up